out a new sponsor to Health Blaze. All the information is in the description. Use the promo code above. Good filler one boxing at 18% off of all their natural products from deodorant, pomade, toothpaste, and much, much more. And they have additional discounts on their website as well. That's the healthblaze.com. Start December 20th. That promo code is good for 18% off. We go. All right, man, we back. Good fella Sports TV. I know what it is, man. Uh, chilling right now. Still out and about. But uh, I want to talk about uh, this Derbachenko thing. Somebody hit me up yesterday. Well, I think it was this morning. And said pretty much it's going to be Mongui and Triple G. Okay? So they scheduled the purse bid for uh, Derbachenko and Canelo. Off top, I don't remember the day. But it's scheduled. And pretty much uh, either Canelo got to fight... Uh, he got to fight Triple G next, or he got to fight Kovalev. So, pretty much that uh, Dervichenko is probably going to fight Camille Zermatt. Not familiar with him. I know that, you know, he was supposed to fight Triple G possibly, but something happened where the fight didn't happen. So, he moved. He tried to get Brandon Adams and then moved on to Steve Rose. So, um, you know, basically the zone is not about to uh, finance Triple G versus... Uh, 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 Dervichenko or Canelo versus Dervichenko. So, pretty much, from what I understand, I'll link a source in the description and from behind the scenes where I'm not going to source that and say I got that from. Pretty much, they're not about to keep paying Triple G, this is Copper Ringer said, eight figures to keep fighting, you know, nobodies. And it might, it's probably supposed to probably, might most likely going to be Hyman McGuire and Triple G and Canelo and Kovalev. So, Kovalev. And Triple G are the two approved opponents for for, for Canelo. So they, they basically going to say, shit, since Canelo ain't going for Undisputed, they going to strip him of the IBF title. In my opinion, no, it is what it is. It's a money thing. You know, first thing they want to scream is Canelo is bigger than the belts. I know a lot of the brothers screamed that when it came to Floyd. But Floyd actually earned this shit. Pacquiao, you know, he earned, he earned more than Canelo did. Pacquiao legitimately took losses with wins and losses. Pacquiao did. Floyd, he, you know, a lot of niggas don't remember, but Floyd was getting it out the uh, out the bowl with, with no fork, no spoon, no knife. He was getting it with his hands. And him and Pacquiao are probably the last guys from the old school that earned their way up. I think pa Floyd Mayweather fought, I think, 12 times, 12 or 14 times one year. Like, legitimately, he fought 12 times a year to try to get ready and prep for that Gernando Hernandez fight. Now, Bob Aaron will do that shit for your ass. Bob Aaron is, is, you know, can't nobody say nothing else bad about Bob Aaron. I'm going to talk about Aaron next, depending on when I drop this, this this other video about Crawford. But Aaron is the best in the business at keeping uh, prospects active. Bar none. It's no, Al Heyman's not close to him. But it's about when they come champions, you know, is the board accessible? You know what I'm saying? What I mean is the WBC, the WBA. Oh, uh, he was on the same, he on the wrong side of the street. Now, I get when people talk about Crawford and Bob Aram about the same side of the street shit because Bob been playing that shit for years, but I'll say that for the other video. You'll know it when you see it, but cool. Because Jamal Charlo finally got a, a, a unification bout in his career. Because Dervichenko win. Or Camille Zermatt win. I haven't seen. I can't remember. I've seen him fight. I can't remember. But if Dervichenko win or kill Camille Zermatt, Bob Aram can just manage Camille Zermatt, give him the bag. The winner, uh, Dervichenko and Zermatt, they can fight Jamal Charlo later this year, depending on when they fight the next year. So Charlo had two belts and pretty much, you know, the zone could play Jamal Charlo to, to come over to their network and fight Demetrius Andrade. They can overcompensate him. And I would tell them that I want, you know, whatever, 12, 13 million dollars to, to get that fight, period. I need 12, 12 and a half, 13 for me to fight, you know, me being unified champion to come on your network. Or they can allow Demetrius Andrade when his contract up. So pretty much, like I said, man, I'm all about black shit, man. You know, you know, when I'm coming to boxing, when it's an opportunity for brothers to fight, fight. And I know it's the other side of the pendulum where a lot of brothers say, well, why the black why the black people gotta fight each other? You know what? We've been so conditioned as brothers not to uh not to not to uh you know not to want to fight each other. Oh, we need the Mexican or the Puerto Rican, or we need to go over to the UK to get our name popping or, or blase blah. We've been so conditioned, but we deserve something for us. And that's kind of one of the reasons I'm I'm pushing so hard for the Crawford Earl Spence thing to happen because 
we need something for us. You know, they do something for the Mexicans, you know, at least two times a year, Cinco de Mayo, and they do something for them in uh in uh, Mexican Independence Day in September. You know, what they do for us? We ain't got no holidays in this country. They gave us the shortest month, Black History Month. We don't got no holiday. So, therefore, you got people celebrate, black people celebrating, you know, uh, 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 St. Patrick's Day. You got them celebrating Valentine's Day. In the Midwest, the Sweetest Day, the 4th of July, Thanksgiving. You know, some 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 holidays, pagan holiday, Christian. Some of these holidays have so much of a demonic uh, meaning to it that it's nasty when you hear about it. But but us people, I don't want to get too deep on YouTube. And I have to start back up the Patreon. But us people, like we give our holidays a new meaning. You know, it's good to see cousins and shit and, and, and weddings and birthdays with are the only holidays we got. But we ain't got nothing for us in boxing. You know what I'm saying? We ain't got nothing for us, man. And that's why I want that Crawford uh, spin shit. And, 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 and ultimately, Demetrius Andrade, I mean, if Jamal Charlo can get two belts, him and Andrade can fight, well, I'm going to get behind and support it because we need to show the world that we can fight each other and we can, we can do things like that. And the middleweight division is changing because if Rob Brand, and I know they're going to do Rob Brand, Bo, and I'll explain that in a second. Rob Brand is the regular WA champion. If if Canelo gets stripped all these other belts, the WBA might as well strip his ass. You know, the WBA might as well just think he just grabbed his, his girl ass. Shit was so flat, but but shit to each his own. But uh, but yeah, because you know if if, if uh Murata win, he ain't gonna rematch Rob Brand. Why should I tell you? No matter how, if he win by intro, he win by mile. He not. And they gonna upgrade Murata to Super WBA champion. Now if Rob Brandt win, they're not gonna they gonna make the motherfucker fight a title and uh uh fight for the vacant Super WBA belt. He been a regular champ. He's regular champ. He's the regular WBA champ. But they gotta make him fight two for nil for the Super WBA. But if he can get the Super WBA belt, that means it opens up a lot of doors. That means you have you you potentially if Jamal if Derbachenko can get the belt. And Jamal can, can beat Durbinchenko. Um, you potentially have four black title holders in middleweight that holds a major belt. You have Jamal that would hold the WBC. And if he could beat Durbinchenko, if they do order Camille Zaman and Durbinchenko, you can have Jamal holding the WBC IBF. Demetrius hold on to the WBO, boo boo. And then you have Rob Brent that can get the uh, get upgraded or, or get the Super WA belt. He the regular champ right now. You potentially have four guys. Four, four black guys at a division. And then, I mean, the, the unification things are crazy because then again, everybody either got to come to Jamal Charlo if he got two belts. And he, quote unquote, he got the most prestigious belt in the WBC. And Derbachenko ain't an easy fight for him, but it's a fight I think he should win. Uh, especially Ronnie Shields improved some of the things he need to work on. But I mean, it, I mean, it's, it's it'll be a great place because Andrade and Charlo, that's a good uh -huh. fight. And guess what? You can, uh, you can double. I just got a message about this too. I'll do a video later, but um, I just said it's Canelo Kovalev and Triple G Maguire. That's what I seen. I'm not sure, but exactly what entails. But I think that's pretty much on par what it is. But but uh, uh -huh. you can have four floor floor back uh, black champions. You know, floor floor major title holders and Jamal Charlo, a guy that was seen to be. The bottom of the totem pole guy in the division, you can see him become the guy. If they want, they don't want to come to PBC and fight Charlo, then you know the zone got to pay him ten, twelve and a half million dollars. And if you know if he can get Andrade or Andrade can get him, then ESPN won't want him to come over and fight. Then they got to pay him to fight Rob Brandt, and you can get one undisputed champion by by all the four black champions fighting each other now that's gonna be damn near impossible because boxing doesn't move on the on the on the on the uh on the rhythm of a black fighter if you catch my drift it moves on hispanic and it moves on money their biggest thing is they don't want to pay black fighters they don't you know oh he don't bring no money he ain't got no fan base but it's changed the last couple years it's changed errol spence got one of the biggest fan bases out there but it's another question. It's another 
it's another video for another day. But I just want to drop that jewel real quick. I'm going to drop that Crawford jewel if I haven't dropped it yet. But don't forget, we on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Reach out to the email. All the links in the description. Don't forget to check out our sponsor, the Hillblaze, thehillblaze.com. Promo code GOODFILLER1 box gets you 18% of the 100% all natural products. Website, promo code, description. Check them out. Lotion, soaps, foot soaks, the whole thing. One time for the one time we go.